Tenchi Lithium Energy Australia was the first company to build a battery-grade lithium hydroxide plant outside of China and the first to produce battery-grade lithium here in Australia. We are very proud to be part of a global rechargeable battery supply chain that is scaling up to meet the world's rapidly growing demand for electric vehicles and renewable energy storage. What's unique about this plant compared to other lithium processing facilities in the world is that it's designed for continuous production on a large scale. It also has the advantage of being fed by the world's highest grade hard rot lithium, which comes to us in a spodumene concentrate form from green bushes. This significantly improves the plant's operational efficiency and sustainability performance, particularly compared to lithium sourced from brine. We've been producing lithium at green bushes for over 40 years. Now for 25 of those 40 years, we've supplied Tianchi. Tianchi were initially our customer and for the last 12 years they've been our major shareholder. The Greenbushes Lithium Mine is a really significant global lithium asset. It's the largest, highest grade lithium mineral deposit in the world. Because of the high quality of our spodumene, only six tonnes is needed to produce one tonne of battery grade lithium hydroxide. The refinery is split into two main sections. The first involves high temperatures and it's called pyrometallurgy. The second primarily involves water chemistry, it's called hydrometallurgy. Spodumene concentrate from green bushes is first roasted in a rotating kiln at 1100 degrees to convert it into a form that can be dissolved in acid. It's then mixed with sulfuric acid at 250 degrees inside another rotating kiln to form an impure lithium sulfate solution. The solution is then leached in water and filtered to produce aluminosilicate and then neutralised and filtered again to remove gyp lime. This solids removal leaves behind lithium sulphate solution. Excess water is evaporated to increase the concentration of lithium sulphate. It then enters a reactor which converts the lithium sulphate to lithium hydroxide and creates sodium sulphate. It's then cooled to crystallise the sodium sulphate leaving behind the lithium hydroxide. Finally, the lithium hydroxide product is crystallised, dried and then packaged in fully sealed 450 kilogram bags for transportation to the customer. The spodumene coming out from uh, Greenbush area is uh, the best quality and the best uh, quantity there. So uh, we invested in Quinana because we can shorten the distance of transportation and the cost of uh, logistics. Co-locating our refinery with our mine means we've eliminated the needs to ship vast amounts of spodumene around the world for processing. A first step in building a zero carbon battery supply chain. Through our investments in both the Quinana refinery and the Greenbushes lithium mine, we've set ourselves up to deliver for our customers, our employees, shareholders, and the communities that we operate in for the next 30 years. Tianchi Lithium, driving the shift to a low-carbon energy future.